Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to join me and flip through my uh, new journal. Um, I am calling this journal Greetings from the Beach. It is a postcard journal. Um, it will be available on my Etsy shop as soon as tomorrow. I'm going to try uh, tonight to uh, get it put up there some pictures to take in and get it posted. Um, I also have in my Etsy shop uh, some digital kits and uh, some of the pages that I use to uh, make this journal are uh, part of that digital kit and more. It's actually a huge uh, paper kit and it was kind of designed more for um, just uh, c the color, BG colors and background texture. So there's not a lot of um, graphics on that kit. Um, it's more just colors and textures and things. So um, take a look at that and trying to put together a BG journal and maybe that might help. Um, so this journal is It's a pretty good sized journal. It is, it has, well, it has 262 pages sewn in. Um, but there are a bunch of flip outs and uh, lots of the ephemera cards, pages, little notepads, things like that in it. Um, it has actually a, a corrugated cardboard cover. Um, lots and lots of layers. Um, it has a little camera lens, um, and this actually is a postcard that comes out, and it has actual mailable postcards inside of this journal throughout. There's actually 24 postcards, and they all have a vintage theme to them, um, and has the image. Also, when you take that out, then that just slides right back in there. And of course it doesn't want to when you're filming. It has a three inch spine. It has a slight gator mouth already. So it kind of extends out to probably about four inches with the gator mouth portion and the fluffiness of the fabric and layers and stuff that I put on it. The um, camera bubble here. Uh, when you measure that from front to back, measures to be about uh, five and a half ish uh, inches, um, and so that's actually it's pretty tough. It um, and if it kind of pops in on the sides, you just kind of give it a little push and it pops right back out. Um, on the spine, I uh, used this. It's actually for, I believe, making bracelets and things. Um, but it's Tim Holtz. Uh, it's the definition for wanderlust. A strong desire to wander or travel and explore the world and I thought that just really fit perfectly with this journal uh, this is canvas um, this is some sheer fabric and um, all of that is sewn on and like I said there's some corrugated cardboard in there and um, has a permanent closure and um, this will expand it will of course be a more of a gator mouth if you expand it more um, but it does expand I have it at its uh, lowest right now and this just uh, clips off and on and then you can clip further down anywhere on this chain to uh, make it larger and so when it's not clipped, it does open up pretty good. But when you clip it back down, it does uh, shrink back down um, quite a bit. Um, and so there she is. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this journal. And um, I was tempted to keep this one myself uh, to write in. I um, have a six-year-old daughter and uh, she helped me with uh, making some of our uh, paper dyeing um, 
patterns and things like that. And we had so much fun. It was really a, a fun memory making moment. And so, yeah, this one is super special. Um, and so I guess without further ado, uh, let's flip through it and uh, explore it. Oh, also, I'm sorry. Um, so it is uh, nine inches high and it's six inches wide. So, all right, let's look in there. Um, so when you first open it up, I've got some pockets sewn in fabric pockets here. And I have this little envelope I made out of a, a shell book um, that I had. And it just has some little fun. This is a little uh, paper clip um, stuff that I made. Just a little envelope with some little notepad cards in there. Um, this is a portion of a calendar. I turned it into a journaling, journaling card. And then I have this little uh, note thing that I made that you can fill out and put anywhere in there. So this journal, I, I usually tend to go super grungy on my journals. Um, this one has a slight grunginess to it um, in some areas more than others, some areas not at all. Um, but I did like the the clean feel to it. Um, one of the postcards. Pocket. Some journaling space here. These are all part of that uh, beach digital kit um, that I used to make that digital kit. Uh, more postcards. More journaling area here. Um, here is another little pocket here. Um, this journal actually has quite a few little flip out areas with a lot of additional uh, writing space, journaling cards. Um, these are all areas that you can journal and write. There's a little sand dollar here. Uh, this paper here was actually a little dolphin hair used um i actually rust dyed this paper um i got some pretty cool little patterns here uh, with some of the different things that i dried it on the different sands and things that i dried it on uh, more postcards um this little clip with some little beads that i put on there and these are just a couple of little journaling cards And there's a, actually an extra little pocket here too, so that kind of, oops. Goes down there, and there goes that. And you can see it kind of a distressed and kind of grunged up slightly in some areas. Um, just to really kind of tie into some of these darker things here. And the images, I just, um, really just kind of uh, dug around online to try to find these. Um, these are uh, from some digital kits that I had uh, purchased and I will try to find these and um, the same here. I'll find the link to those to post those down below as well. Um, these actually I had uh, adjusted a bit so they don't look quite like this uh, the ones that I purchased. Um, so, so you, you might see that they're a little bit different. Um, more postcards and behind it is journaling uh, pages here. And there's just all kinds of little uh, journal cards in here. These are uh, from a art magazine that I had. Uh, some more of that rust dyed paper. and more cards and more journaling pages. Uh, here's another one of those flip outs. And there is a pocket here. There's some uh, note paper inside this pocket. 
and my journals are all really um, I try to make sure they're very sturdy durable um, nothing's gonna fall out or fall apart I'm trying to use the best glues to uh, make sure that that did not happen um, so you can really get some use out of them uh, another postcard and a pocket for that um, and then here I have just a little envelope and a little note card here that I uh, distressed and grunged up. Um, also, uh, there is a, another pocket. Whoops. That's of course not going to cooperate. <laughs> There's another pocket here. Maybe if I had a smaller journaling card. Anyways, there's another pocket here. And we flip this. There's a pocket here. And this kind of coincides with the uh, picture under the postcard on the very front. Uh, another pocket here. And some uh, paper I had made, actually, um, on the back of that. And put it in at an angle. Um, another pocket here, another pocket here, and that just folds over, and then you could put like some pictures, you could journal on this, this is light enough where you'd be able to journal on it, and I uh, still see it, I tried to make sure there was still lots of journaling space, um, even though I kind of more heavily uh, decorated this uh, journal, I still wanted to make sure like the pages were light enough that you could still uh, write on them. And there's a ton of journal space here. And then this is actually uh, Harbor Lights. It's a kind of a beachy themed uh, music. Uh, from a Norman Rockwell, I believe, uh, music book that I have. Um, this is actually it's some um, really thick uh, tissue type paper. Um, has such a really cool texture. Um, I actually got it when I had purchased some ornaments at Christmas time, and they wrapped my ornaments in it. And I've not been able to find this tissue paper. I'm going to go on a hunt to find it. It's really thick. I don't know if you can hear that. It's really cool though. But I only had two pieces of it. Uh, one went into this book. And um, I definitely want to get more. It's really cool. Um, I uh, broke this down into a couple of different pieces. And I wrote on the other one. And it writes on really well. I really love it. Um, so I have a big pocket right back here, and I uh, made this little notepad to go in here, and put that down in there, and this came out of a calendar that I had uh, from a few years back, and I actually saved the calendar because the pictures were so pretty, um, it has a really cool texture, and um, so I, I this is actually the first project that I've used it for. There's also another uh, big pocket there and another uh, notepad here, a little bit uh, larger one. And, and, oh, I'm catching on this side, I think. And then some uh, information about sea turtles, green sea turtles um, that I had found online also. Some more of that tissue paper, the other side of it. more writing paper, more of that Harbor Light. And these are all in that uh, Beachy Vibes digital kit that I have in my Etsy shop. I just really love how that came out. And um, these I watched a uh, tutorial from uh, Natasha from Treasure Books on how to do this and it was so much fun to do. Uh, we made a bunch of little journal cards and stuff like that, my daughter and I. Um, yeah, she she really rocked at this whole process, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. And just some more little 
and then we carve that some more of that paper that I made, which is the same as across here, and another little postcard. Again, there are 24 usable postcards throughout this journal. And some more of this, that's the other digital kit uh, that I was talking about up front uh, that I will also include the links for down below that I had purchased. And more postcards. And this is also some paper that I had made um, and is light enough on the back that you could uh, journal on that. And this is another postcard. Oops. I have that paper. Another postcard. More cardo. Another postcard. And here is the other uh, part to that Harbor Light song. It's got a really cool image on it, some ships and stuff. This paper is also part of that digital kit. And I have this little postcard that slides into these uh, elastic bands here. Another postcard. And this is uh, from a vintage dictionary. Um, I just really love the coloring of the pages. I didn't do anything to this. It was already just, excuse me, really beautiful. Um, so I I left this as it was. And I do not recall the uh, ocean words that were on this, but um, there's something on here somewhere. <laughs> uh, just a butterfly belly band that I made. Uh, it says today. Um, that is all sewn together and a postcard behind that. And this is also with some of that canvas and lace and had a lot of fun making that. I actually uh, got the inspiration uh, for this. Uh, I was watching Louisa Heinzel make one similar to this where uh, she put all the eyelets and stuff on it and uh, really inspired me to create this one. more journaling pages. This is actually, this is one of my favorite uh, pictures in this book. I just really love it and I like the retroness of it. It's a really cool picture. Ton of journaling space in between. And this here, I had used some ribbon to try to get some uh, coloring to come through on this. Um, my ribbon actually was dyed also, so I really thought it would uh, bleed through on this, but it actually left an imprint into the page instead. Um, and it did slightly color in some areas, but the texture that it left behind is really just so cool. So I don't know if you can see that texture. It's coming through on my camera but it's actually really cool. It was one of my favorite pages in this whole journal just because of that. And it's crazy that it doesn't come through. You can see it slightly on this side, but it's not as bubbled as you would think it is on that side. Uh, this is from a travel book and it just uh, went through some different scenery. This is uh, a beach in the United States. Not sure which one though. Um, on all of my uh, signatures, I sewed or I braided in uh, beads uh, throughout, and I left those long dangling out the bottom. 
Um, there are actually uh, three signatures in this journal. I did not mention that earlier. I have a little mermaid uh, print here. I really wanted this journal just to kind of be uh, bright and colorful. Um, not super bright and colorful, kind of a slightly grungy bright and colorful. <laughs> so you'll see lots of different colors throughout this book, uh, but predominantly the blues and greens that make me think of the ocean. And then some more of that, um, this other half of that vintage dictionary page. That one. And another postcard, and I really love those seagulls. And this is more from that digital kit that I had purchased. And this little guy here opens up. This one flips out, and I hope that it all comes out in the camera, but I don't think it's going to. I'll have to move it. But these are all uh, journal cards. And let me grab the, let me clip this open. It just wants to close up. So, um, journal cards. Um, this is actually uh, off of a calendar that I had, a small pocket calendar. Um, and it's got a really cool texture to it also. And it's really thick. And I thought that would make just the coolest uh, journal card in here. And then I have this paper pad here with the beautiful flowers on it. I really like that. And of course, when you're recording, it does not want to go back in the right way. And then the last one, another uh, that I had made. And you can journal on the back of that one as well. Um, there is a journaling place here and a journaling uh, place here. And there's just, and you could also journal on the back of that as well. Pictures on it, um, more postcards, and more pictures. Journaling space. And I just really love the way all the colors came out. This is from an old ledger book that I have had for probably 25 years. Um, and I do not know why I have just kept it, but I decided that I am going to start using it. So it is now a part of this journal and officially being used and um, I couldn't be happier. The other half of that Harvard Lights. And our final signature. This is from a, another shell book that I had. Um, and this was the, uh, the opening page into that book. And it has the sand and the waves and the horizon. And it's really pretty. And a sea turtle. And um, I got these uh, really cool patterns from um, some lace pieces that I had. And um, when I was drawing this, I put those on there and it really came through really well. A lot better than I really had uh, expected it to. Um, but I was really happy with that. I thought those were really cool. Gizmo which is close to me. And here is another section of flip outs. I have a, another uh, paper card that I had made um, in here. Um, I really like the blue colors. And this is part of a uh, magazine um, that I have. And I just, I thought that was really pretty. That flower just really caught my attention, so I cut it out. <laughs> and uh, this here 
flip down and then behind it are some uh, note pages and then when you flip that up there is a, a journaling card uh, back here and another little uh, journaling card here with some shells this is part of a shell book that I had found at the library um, in their uh, book sale section um, and I found some really cool stuff out of there I have some journaling space here and then when you open this up here there is a, a pocket here with a tag and when you open this up, there is a picture of the beach, and it just folds right back down and closes. That was actually uh, quite a bit of fun to make. Um, I actually, <laughs> that was not the first one I made. The original one that I had uh, made for this journal, I failed miserably and um, had to go completely a different direction but yeah once I got the hang of that it actually was not really that difficult I was making it a lot harder than it actually was um so but yeah it was it was definitely a lot of fun and then this is an envelope it's right here little note page and there's plenty of room for uh bigger stuff inside of here and um here's another little pocket with some little uh, note paper in it get stuff done um, there's some note paper notes on it back here and some more of that uh, calendar book there too there's a note card another little note card here did some little washi tape and um, stuff there and um, made this little guy here you can journal on and just really kind of stuff this thing with all kinds of little goodies. And this actually will open up. I have here uh, just a little notepad um, with some pages there. There is a pocket here that you can, a little card you can journal on. Um, another one here. Uh, little another one of the uh, little task lists here uh, just a different style and then another little journaling card and there's the slate beater a little grungy there and that closes and then I have this beautiful little butterfly journaling card here and then this is another uh, vintage uh, dictionary page. And this one was, a, it's kind of fragile. Um, I put uh, washi tape along the spine of it in order to uh, make it a little bit sturdier and stronger so yeah, it does not come out. But um, yeah, it's really, I really like the, the graphics in it. Um, the jellyfish and stuff. I thought that was really cool. So I wanted to make sure that was in there too. But yeah, I, I really tried to sturdy it up in there. Another little uh, belly band. Used some corrugated cardboard in there. Some of that paper that I made. Lace. And then this is just some uh, scrap of paper. And another postcard behind there. I really like this picture as well. That that went really well in this journal. And some more little mermaid scales. And I turned this uh, bigger page into a pocket page. And here is some more of that note paper that matches um, the flower one that I had in the beginning. Out of that same book. And then another pocket with the postcard here. Some journaling space. 
more purse cards. More postcards and pockets. And this is from that same book with all the American landscapes. And more of the feeding them and the signatures. Another postcard. And another postcard. And this paper just really feels super cool. Another postcard. And a little notepad. And you can either open it that way. That didn't quite work how I had originally anticipated it. A little piece of lace there. And another little journaling note card here. And I'll just leave that in there for now. It's not gonna. And a little. Bag here, and another little bag here, and there's also a pocket here, another little pocket and postcard here, more journaling pages. I really tried hard to um, really kind of, uh, I really wanted it decorated a lot, but I also wanted lots of journaling space. I'm a writer. I like to write a lot. So I kind of wanted to have an even balance of the two. And I feel like I did accomplish that here. Another uh, little small page that you could journal on front and back. Um, little notepad here. And some pages in that pocket and then this pocket has a little flip up section here that you can also journal on and some more of that lace print here that I had and the end of this journal, another pocket here, and chimes. So that is my greetings from the beach junk journal. And um, if you want to uh, look at more details on that, you can check it out in my Etsy shop. Um, I have a couple other journals um, that I will be. Uh, doing uh, videos on uh, shortly as well that I have completed. Uh, one of those journals is already in my Etsy store. Um, so I really want to try to get a, a video flip through of that one up right away as well so people can see what's in it. And then I have another one. It's a huge journal. Um, it is a uh, more of like a, a captain's journal. Uh, kind of has a uh, masculine kind of a feel to it. It's super grungy, um, but I will have the video out for that one uh, soon as well. Um, thank you all so much for taking the time to uh, go through this journal with me. Um, I really had so much fun making it. I, uh, yeah, I, I was tempted to keep it. I still am. And, um, <laughs> but I, I am, I'm going to, I'm going to get it out of my shop. So you guys will be able to see that there. Um, and if you would please like and follow, uh, down below and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.